My name is Vilbjörk. It's a very Scandinavian name. I come from Denmark. And uh, um, we made a foundation, Stichting. It's called Anti Delusion Mechanism. So, uh, just like IDM. At the moment, I'm going to tell you about uh, an installation we have which we traveled a bit with this year. We were in Brussels just a month ago. And it takes signals from the ground uh, above the hu human hearing range signals and it transposes these signals down so that one can hear it. And that's what you hear in the background. And there are definitely signals that come in the nature and there are signals that come from human beings. And here in the harbor we have a lot of industry so for sure there is a lot of signals from the industry, from the, from the technology around. A lot of 50 Hz of course also, but it's very low, it creates some kind of beating when you transpose it down. So it, it sounds like some kind of techno music actually, a little bit. But here you have a lot of different signals interfering, so it's almost a bit distortion. I don't find anybody working on this, so even we work with little computers and so I still like feel a bit pioneering around in this hearing what's going on just under our feet. So also in IDM, uh, yeah, at the moment I wouldn't know. I haven't if if we don't have a place like that anymore. I've, I've been here for 18 years, and uh, I'm constantly working from morning till evening. <laughs> But I don't make a lot of money on it. But I know that there were very great people. I mean, not that I'm necessarily great, but there were very great people who never made a dime in their whole life making their arts. So I'm, I'm not so, you know, I'm not so concerned about that. I know in Holland now the culture of politics is. I tried, I tried to, to do a lot of subsidies before, and all the response you get is like, yeah, but you can't sell it, and. Uh, yeah, this is for me no argument, I would say, in uh, the quality of art. So I'm so uh, delighted that I can be a place like this and, and uh, take the freedom to be free from this kind of, of track. Yeah. I briefly did a bit of engineering when I was very young and I was indoctrinated with a uh, Second law of thermodynamics, you know, from from you know, from you're 10 years old, you know, you can't make more energy than you put into the system. But something else is happening here. It's there are some energy in the empty space that gets triggered to come into the system in the moment of switching, and that's what's happening. And we sit here in the fuel harbor and the pride that it's going to be the biggest, biggest fuel harbor in Europe, and uh, and I think along with a few other people and Nikola Tesla that we could have gone through the whole 20th century without using any fuel at all because the technology was there and the planet would not have been so destroyed <laughs> as it is now but the whole petrodollar and the whole economy and the wars and it's all together with the fuel but yeah here we have a very simple small application <laughs> going another way and I hope that the big inventors will, will not be killed off in the coming years and that we will get, a, I think energy can revolutionize our society and also what's called the third world or other countries, you know, not centralized energies or fuel deposits, but totally delocalized free energy will totally revolutionize our, our social structures. Yeah. This is something I, I hope I would get to see because it's a possibility here on this planet. So I hope I'll get to see it.